I can't believe I said that. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Drew, and today's video is gonna be totally different. It's not about makeup, but it is actually about my weight loss journey. So I've had a few of you guys um, on Instagram and on Facebook and other avenues asking me, you know, how have I been losing weight? Um, so first off, if you're new to my channel, obviously, I am not a thin woman. I'm not suddenly like magically like, yes, look at me. Like, but I have been on. So, okay, this is going already going great. So currently I've been on a self-bettering journey, which means I'm on a journey to becoming like just the best like me that I could possibly be. Now so currently to date, I've actually lost 76 pounds um, since last July, and I'm really excited about it. I obviously still have a long way to go. I still have weight to lose. I don't think I'm finished yet. So before you come out here and you're like, um, girl, you're still a little bit fat, um, hello? Like, I don't know that. Like, I'm not in the mirror like, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. So, but I did want to make this video because people have been asking me like, girl, how'd you lose all this weight? And I felt like, you know, it was time now that I've lost over 75 pounds. 76 pounds, but hey, who's counting? <laughs> um, now that I've lost 76 pounds, I feel like, you know, now I kind of have actually shown that I'm kind of serious about this and that I've had substantial weight loss and share with you guys, like, what I'm doing. So I'm going to kind of just uh, give you guys five things that I've been doing uh, to kind of like how this whole journey came about and how it kind of came to be. I'm going to try and keep it short. Um, and one other thing, after this video, if you guys want me to make more videos like this, if you want me to actually make more videos about my weight loss journey, I do share my weight loss progress via Snapchat, Instagram, and if you're on my personal Facebook, I share it there as well. But if you guys want me to start including this more and making more videos about this, please comment below. I don't want to make videos like this if you're not about it, but I'm only making this video because people ask me and I, you know, I want to make you guys happy who support me in all aspects of my life. So, um, like I said, just comment below if you're like, hey, I'd actually like you to do you know, a monthly video or a weekly video or never do this again. Uh, make sure you comment below and let me know. Okay, um, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna give you guys five things that kind of have been how this journey came to be. And so the first thing that I actually did before I started really focusing on losing weight, um, and this I think is actually one of the most important things and something that, um, our culture doesn't do I decided to love myself so and I'm really not saying that to be like oh she loves herself ah, she's so great ah. no it actually is from a place that society tells you that if you're someone who is overweight that you're not worthy that you're not enough that you're not a good person that you aren't sexy that you're not beautiful that you're not a lot of things and I decided that I was going to look society and myself in the face and say no you are worthy you are beautiful and you are good the way that you are but here's the thing in loving myself it doesn't mean that I embrace the fact that I'm overweight and I'm like hey that's great that I'm overweight no it makes me look in the mirror and say you know what I'm okay with myself today and then when I finally reach my goal of weight loss I can be okay with myself then too I hope that makes sense it is so hard making videos like this because people are so ready to like judge you and come at you and I'm not saying that if you're overweight and you have health issues that you shouldn't deal with it all I'm saying is that you should still be able to love yourself and think that you're a good person and that you deserve good things now like for instance you know I see these people who post these photos the before and afters and the before photo they're all like uh, ugly mugging it with gross hair and they're mad and they don't wear good makeup and they're just like oh I hated myself before no I'm so beautiful no you need to agree that you were beautiful then and that you're beautiful now I'm so happy for you that you lost this weight but you still were okay then because I feel like if you can't be okay with yourself at whatever weight you're at now when you lose that weight you're still always gonna find something that you're like you know what I'm still not happy with this or oh, I wish I had this you have to be okay with yourself at all times and yes, you should get healthy, and yes, you should lose weight, and you should try to become better, but you still have to be able to embrace that inner beautiful soul that is there now. Okay, next thing. So number two, the second thing that I did is I decided to meet with doctors and find out if I had any pre-existing medical conditions that could affect me losing weight. So I've tried to lose weight numerous times, you know, I've like gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight a bunch of times in my life. I've always actually only remembered myself being more plus size, but still I have worked on losing weight many times. But I always felt like it was a losing battle, like I get going and then I stop and I get going and I stop and I want to meet with doctors to find out, is there something going on inside of my body? 
body that maybe is causing me to have so much trouble when I try to lose weight. We actually discovered that I have a severe sleep disorder um, and we worked on that. I actually made a video about that months ago. I can post that in the description below if you want to see the video about my sleep journey because we do not have the time to talk about that right now. But the thing was, I so then I said, okay, so now I'm going to take this issue with my sleep and I'm going to focus the next, you know, it takes about three months when you have a sleep disorder to get that regulated. So I'm going to actually for three months figure out the sleep thing and make sure that I get that under control before I can really, really hit the ground running and focus all of my attention into losing weight. And up until this point, I actually over time had lost, oh gosh, about, uh, about 30 pounds. Uh, leading up to now with just like trying to do better be a little bit smarter with my food decisions you know eat a little bit differently nothing major like I wasn't like going crazy but I was doing little things to try and like push the needle forward to becoming like a better and healthier version of myself so the third thing that I did is after I got the sleep under control and after I was like okay you got to be okay with you girlfriend you got to think that you're awesome and not like in a vain way like it's just like okay whatever we're, not, we're off of that so the third thing I did is I I actually sat down and met with a nutritionist and I came up with a strategy of how I can lose weight so I'm you know I'm a very picky eater I eat like a child I'm gonna be real with you guys like I'm like if I go to a restaurant and it's fancy I'm like do you guys have chicken tenders like I can't do this octopusy oh god I just I can't believe I just said that. I can't do, like, whatever this is on this menu. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said that. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm a very picky eater. I, I hate vegetables. I really do. And someone's probably going to slam me in the comments, but I really do hate vegetables. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't do it. So um, basically, I sat down. We strategized. And I said, what can I do, you know, with what I like to eat? How can we, you know, take the things I like to eat and make them work for my body? And how can I change the way I eat? And we came up with a strategy. The one thing she told me is she's like, well, you need to drop your calories. So I am eating a diet of 1,500 calories or less. I'm allowed to go up to 1,800 if I exercise that day. And we also talked about ways that I can exercise and get back into the exercise game after not really doing a lot of exercise. And so I started doing a lot of swimming. Which leads me to thing number four. So number four, the fourth thing that I did is I did the work. The real truth, if you wanna really know what it takes to lose weight, it takes work, it takes sweat, it takes tears, it takes getting up, getting your butt to the gym, eating right, eating healthy. That is what it takes to lose weight. And I'm not saying you can't lose weight, you know, doing these Shakeology or whatever. I'm not trying to hate on that. If you do that and that's your business, I'm not saying you can't lose weight that way. But if you want it consistently, if you have a large weight loss goal and you really want to know what it's going to take to really lose weight, it's going to take work. And I literally, like, I've become such an emotional person about this. I cry. I've cried at the gym. <laughs> like, it's, and not because I'm like, oh, I hate being here. I've cried because I pushed myself and I do things that I didn't expect my body to do. And I'm working out and I'm working so hard. Like, I'm at the gym, you know, three or four days a week and I know I can make that better I know I can push that further but when I started out I would go to the gym three days a week and I would just do swimming because I said you know what swimming is something that I can do now swimming is something my body can handle it is a good way for me to get a full body workout without feeling like I'm going to die and now I've started to escalate it to instead of just swimming you know doing stuff on the track you know trying to get up to running and trying you know working on weights and doing things you know stationary bikes Working out and exercise, that is it. You want to lose weight, you got to diet, you got to exercise. It takes work. I'm doing the work. You know, there's lots of days where I'll see my friends and they're killing a burger and I'm over here drinking muscle milk. Muscle milk, like, are you serious? But you know what? It's okay because they're not on my journey. I'm on my journey right now. And I can't look at my friends and be mad at them because they can eat a burger and I can't. I need to be happy that I'm losing weight and I feel good. And so the fifth and final thing that I did that I've been doing to lose weight is I've been putting myself and this journey first. So that's the thing like I realized with losing weight so many times in the past I've been like okay I'm gonna lose weight oh but I gotta do this thing for my church oh but I gotta do this thing for my friend oh I gotta do this thing for this person and my weight loss ends up getting pushed further and further back and so what I mean is like obviously like I still put my kids first and I put my family first and all of those responsibilities have to come first but everything else after all that has to come second my weight loss is first because you know what this is my health this is my body this is my life 
we're talking about here. And I have to believe that I matter, that I'm important enough to actually give a crap about myself and get up and do this. There are days where I just really don't want to go to the gym. And I say, no, you know what? We're doing this. This is the last time. We are not starting over again. We are not gaining more weight again. We're doing it this time. This is our moment and we're losing weight now. And I tell you what, that has been the biggest thing that has been a part of my journey. I have had to fall out of a lot of things. I've had to push back on friendships. I've had to push back on relationships. I've had to quit volunteering. I've had to quit doing a lot of things that I'm doing in my life to put this journey number one. And I can't have, you know, FOMO. I'm, I have to lose the fear of missing out. And I have to look at the fact that in two years, you know, when I've got, you know, my health under control and my body is functioning in a good way, what will I be capable of? What could I accomplish? And how much better would I be to my friends in these opportunities after I've actually lost the weight and conquered this demon that is in front of me, this beast that has stared me in the face my entire life? What will my life look like then? Sorry, it's really emotional. Like, I honestly, like, I didn't want to make a video about this. Not because I didn't want to share with you guys, but because people are just mean. And I honestly, like... It's so personal to me and I decided to do this because I want to inspire someone that you can do this. You are so capable of greatness and you, you don't even know how amazing you are and can be and I'm really sorry and I'm not trying to be that person who's like trying to just get people to whatever. That's not, like I'm not trying to do that. I just legitimately like I want to inspire you like this has been such a hard thing for me but such a rewarding and beautiful experience and like I while I do cry and I do struggle and some days I look in the mirror and I'm like come on why aren't we just skinny already it has been such a good thing for me and I feel so good and so basically in a nutshell that's it those are the five things i've been doing if you guys want to hear more about this you know please add me on snapchat or instagram where i do post a little bit more progress photos i'm really sorry it's not how i plan to end this video but i don't know how else to do it one second okay <laughs> now that i've chilled out a little bit so basically that's it that is what i've been doing to lose weight that is my journey if you want to know more I, ask me I love answering questions for you guys please don't leave mean comments below I really like I didn't make this video for any reason except for people have been asking um, for me to do it and um, obviously I'm still on my journey I still have a long way to go if you want to be a part of that and see that go ahead I've had so many people cheering me on you guys don't even know what that means to me having people behind me cheering me on and telling me I can do this when days like I don't think I can do this some days and you guys have made me believe that I can and it keeps me going and pushes me and pushes me but that is all I have for you guys today but if you want to be a part of the just like Drew crew and you're not already make sure you click the red subscribe button below anyone can be a part of our family every time you click the subscribe button a unicorn does receive its horn and um otherwise hey you know what I love you guys thank you so much for letting me share this with you guys today and hopefully you receive it with good ears i really do love you guys and you really have inspired me whether you believe it or not and um this is just where i'm at right now in my weight loss journey and my health and i hope that you know if you are struggling that you can get the help you need to move forward and actually make changes in your life um otherwise um if you like this video and you want to see more from me you know what to do just like Drew. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing life. And go embrace yourself and agree that you are beautiful. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Love you. Goodbye. Applicator keeps getting like it. It doesn't pull out the same each time. So sometimes I'll pull it out and I'll get like tons like right now. 76 pounds lost. Yay!